What's going on Team Caterpie? Shady Penguin here bringing you a very special video. I just want to take a moment to thank Hardy so much for giving me the chance to battle him and then furthermore to give me the chance to upload to his channel. Really cool, really awesome. You see, you guys remember a while back when Hardy had that fundraiser. I had donated some money to him so he can go on his trip across the country. In return, he's allowing me to upload a video to his channel, so I decided, you know what, one of the awards was that, that I get to battle him. Instead of just uploading a commercial for myself onto his channel, let me upload a battle, something that uh, Team Caterpie might actually enjoy. And uh, yeah, I, I, did, I wanted to do that, so that's cool. We're going to check out his team real quick. He's along the bottom, Hardy Tech Yo-Yo. He's got his Kadabra, his Leafeon, his Girder, his Samurott, Embor, and Ampharos. Things I'm really scared of on his team is Girder. He's my number one fear. I've seen some nasty things with him, but it doesn't really hit me until during the battle. And... Uh, Embor and Ampharos usually intimidate me a little bit. Ampharos especially because I like it so much, so when I see it on an opponent's team, I'm just like, no, don't hurt me. But uh, check out my team real quick. I have my physically bulky Drudagon, my Life Orb Absol, my Wall of the Beast Dustnor, my Scarf Manectric, my Intimidate Quillfish, and my uh, Sigaglyph, who kind of just does crazy things. Uh, I don't think, I don't know if Sigaglyph does anything in this battle, but normally it does some crazy things. But without any further ado, we're gonna get started with this battle. He decides to lead off with his uh, Kadabra. I lead off with my Drudagon. He goes right into his Psychic, and I should have known, and Drudagon is not specially defensive, so I'm forced to switch out into my Sigaglyph, knowing that I can eat a Psychic, and then I'm like, oh, sweet, maybe I could do some. So I send off an Air Slash, just hoping for a Power Flinch, but he gets a Shadow Ball off, and there goes Sigaglyph down, second, third turn, it's fine. So I send into my Yagami to finish things up because it's Scarf to a Flamethrower. He goes into Girder. I'm scared at this point. So I go into Pins and Needles to intimidate him because I, I figure, you know what, he's definitely physically attacking. Let me just intimidate. Now I go for the Taunt so that he can't use Bulk Up anymore. And I get a Thunder Wave off. So I try to neutralize his Girder as soon as possible. He goes for a Payback and it still does around 37%, which is, which is pretty good. So here I'm just like, you know, let me set up some Hazards. Taunt ended, which I honestly don't even think I realized in the uh, in the match during. I just realized that now. So that could have been a really bad scenario. But I just get my three layers of spikes up, and I decide, let me save the Intimidate for later. Pull Pins and Needles out and go back into Drudagon because he has the rough skin and he's physically bulky. So here I'm just like, you know, let's set up rocks. Let's get hazards all over the place. And he goes for a Dream Punch, and I see it does a good amount. And I'm like, crap. Even without the bulk up, Girder still gets a third of my HP off. So I decide, let me bring Pins and Needles back in one more time, get another Intimidate off, let me try to just make this thing as poop as possible, and I just decide to go for a Waterfall, but it does nothing at all. So down goes Pins and Needles, I switch back in to uh, Yagami and just go for Volt Switch to see how much damage it can do, it only does 25%, even on the special side, Girder is ridiculous. Fire Punch from my stupid Dust Nord of 7.5%, complete garbage. So I'm just like, alright, let me switch out, screw it, it's not even worth it. So I switch into uh, to Drudagon just to get some more rough skin damage, and he goes for Drain Punch. He's faster than me, I think it was because I went for the detail like an idiot when I should have just went for a physical attack move like Sucker Punch that I have. So there goes Drudagon, I switch back into Yagami, get another Volt Switch off to finally take down his Girder. Here I'm just like, alright Ansem, I need you to do some serious work. So, Ampharos gets brought down really low, and the Sucker Punch does take him out. Now, I know the Sucker Punch is super obvious right here, but I still have to go for it. Uh, do I? Oh no, I don't go for it because of how obvious it, obvious it is. And I go for an Aerial Ace, and it doesn't kill. Leafeon lives with 9%. I did not know how bulky Leafeon was. So, I go for a Sucker Punch here, even though it was super obvious, and he gets his Swords Dance off. And here, I was like, let me just go for another Sucker Punch. And he actually did go for a Physical Attack because just a little bit of prediction there. I just, he, he tried to predict me, I predicted him. It was just pretty much luck. I was just like, Sucker Punch all the way because eventually he's going to have to go for an attack. Um, here Samurai comes in and does a lot with Waterfall, but I go for a Pain Split knowing that I'm going to take a good amount of damage. I go for a Shadow Sneak just to see how much damage it's going to do, and he gets another Swords Dance off with another Poke, and he takes my defense down no problem, because that defense was pathetic. Aqua Jet just destroys Yagami, he goes down to 12%, I wasn't even thinking about Aqua Jet when I brought him in, but I mean he's my last Poke, so I really know that I can do about it. So we're down to our last Pokemon, I go for Volt Switch, hope for a crit, nope. He gets to take me out with an Embor. So even though I lost, that was a really fun game for me. And it was so cool to get to battle Hardy. Thank you so much again. And uh, really quick shameless plug for me. If you guys want to check out my channel, I'm sure Hardy's going to leave a link in the description below. I do a bunch of stuff like this. I do a lot of Let's Play. I do daily uploads. Um, I have a couple cool things going on. Unique things such as the Shady Showdown Challenge where I issue challenges. And then showcase the battles that uh, are the best um, that are sent to me. So that's something really cool. If you're into Showdown, you can check that out. But I also do... Um, like I said, I do Let's Plays, I'm doing a casual play, I'm starting Ash Gray soon, and right now I'm in the middle of a uh, Black Nuzlocke 
I will also be doing X and Y high quality with my capture card, and then Wi-Fi battles, of course, will come when X and Y come out. I kind of put those to a halt for now because the meta stale and showdowns just as good for uh, the competitive side. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. For Hardy's sake, please leave a like rating on this video um, because it's still it's on his channel. It still helps his channel. Um, and be sure if you can check my channel out if you guys like this battle I'm sure you'll like my content if you give me a chance kind of new to YouTube only been here two and a half months But uh, I'm really excited to have this opportunity have yourselves a good day, but above all else keep it shady Something I totally forgot guys. This was a match So there are there is at least one more battle that took place possibly two but uh, the second battle will be uploaded to my channel so definitely if you want to see the second battle and because you guys are Team Caterpie, I know you're going to want to see the second battle. Um, don't want to give it away, but you really do want to see it. I'm sure Hardy agrees. He wants you guys to see it. So it'll be up on my channel within uh, probably, depending on once Hardy gets this on his channel, I'd say the following day I'll be sure to have it up on my channel. So thank you guys so much again. Keep it shady.